Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's kayak fishing adventure. We got some fog out here on the flats this morning. It's a little limited visibility, but it's still safe to cross. We can still see. Got my Tarpon 160, one of the best kayaks for traveling the ultra shallow flats. We're gonna explore. We got really low tide today, so we're gonna be almost dragging the bottom. Should be some great conditions to see some fish, so we appreciate you guys stopping in today. We're gonna go ahead on and launch. We're gonna paddle into this fog and see what we get into this morning. Okay, so the fog has lifted. We still have an outgoing tide. Actually casted at some beautiful tailing reds already this morning. Some days they will help you out. Some days they really work against you. Term that I use for it is peekaboo. They play peekaboo where they're cruising in the ultra shallows. They see something they want to eat. The tail goes up. They hit what they're searching for and that tail goes down. So you see that, you see that action, you pursue it, but when you get there, that fish has moved on or it's just laid up and its senses are totally aware. So we've ran over some fish, we've kicked them up, the fog is lifted so we can see across this flat. We're getting a little more breeze, but we still have a drop in tide. Beautiful conditions for today. Here we are the middle of December, out here in short pants. The water temperature is probably pushing 70 degrees on this flat this morning. So the expectations are to see some great um, tailing fish. So we're gonna keep moving. We're working into the wind. I'm gonna put my effort into going into the wind for a while and then turn my back to the wind and drift our way out of here. I started out throwing the fly rod. Anytime I see tailing fish, I have a target. I love to put the fly in there with them. But you're limited to that cast. You're limited to that distance. I also have the top water rigged, the backup. So if there's things that are happening fast and you don't have time to get into position, it's always good to have a plan B, a backup. So I have the top water. And with the tide dropping this morning, as, as long as it keeps going out, I mean, I expect to see fish. The sun's coming up. Early in the morning when the sun is low, there's a lot of glare and reflection on the water. It's hard to see into the water. So you count on tails, you count on swirls and action to cast that. But as the day goes on, as the sun comes up, we're gonna be able to see everything in this water. We've been on the boat a lot this week. We've been, it's just a different kind of trip. The beauty of kayak fishing is you're immersed in the environment. You feel the water you're up close and personal with the fish. It's just a totally different experience than screaming across the flats at 30 miles an hour in a skiff. The up close and personal interaction with the fish is amazing. When the conditions are right, I always want to be in the kayak. If I have light winds and the right tide, my number one choice is always kayak fishing. Redfish Bay is an amazing place. We are blessed with vast, endless seagrass meadows ultra shallow today is pretty cool the tide is very low so the only thing that's going to get in get on these flats today is kayaks and it limits the boat traffic and we have just miles and miles of some of the most beautiful ultra shallow seagrass to explore today the water that we're paddling in today the water that we're exploring is shin deep maybe one foot and in some places where you hit little sand holes, maybe 18 inches or so. So um, perfect conditions for sight casting. A big fish, the fish of our dreams, cruising on these flats, you can pick them off at a pretty good distance. Make your approach, get into position, make a nice cast, and get that fish of your dreams. Okay, started out this morning with zero wind, lot of fog, 
We had some tailing reds. We saw a lot of fish, just couldn't get them to bite this morning. We made a move. We went out to the drop off. So the tide dropped off this flat pretty dramatically where it was to like six inches or one foot of water in the area that we were fishing in. We moved out to the drop off because those fish will get pulled to the edge. They will pull the bait out and the big fish will follow them. So went out there, made a few casts. You really expect them to be stacked up along the edges, but that just wasn't the case this morning. We caught one small trout on the fly and just turned into exploratory mode. We made a move, we paddled about a mile from where we were originally, and the plan was to go upwind, and then we're gonna have the wind behind us all the way back to the launch. So as we came across um, the flats, we were seeing some fish, but it's always very difficult to cast into the wind. Fishing into the wind is tough. So we made the distance, we took a turn, found some nice sand holes, and we started kicking up some mud stirs. No tailing fish, kind of partly cloudy today. Very difficult to see into the water with clouds and with wind and if the fish aren't tailing. So we started keying in on mud stirs and wakes. Actually got us into some really nice action. Paddle tail worm, caught a couple fish, put a big fish in the boat and continued to change flies. Went from the spoon fly that was getting followed, didn't get hit, switched over to a, a popper, actually picked up another red on that, switched back to the paddle tail, just covering some water, trying to figure out what was going on. And then we put a couple more fish in the boat, so some really good action. And then here we are at midday, and these fish have gotten pretty feisty. We got into some pretty good action. We're still a long way from the truck. We still have about two miles between here and the launch. So we have the wind in our back. We're gonna spend a little more time right here. It's kind of a deep indention in the flat. Around us, you can see where the shiny water is, is where the grass is actually touching the surface. The area that we're sitting right here at the moment is a little bit deeper. It's about knee deep and had a nice little concentration of redfish caught four or five reds in a very short distance, still kicking up mud stirs, still seeing the signs. So we're gonna stick with this a little bit. Been mixing up the cast, couple with the fly rod, some with the soft plastics, the um, rigged up weedless. We talked about that in previous episodes and it's a deadly effective uh, tool in the ultra shallow flats, especially you can cast a long ways. It's a great fish finder out here. The mud stirs, they might not always hit it, but they will follow it and it will give you a sign that they're there. Come back with the fly, something small, and just kind of figure out their attitude as the day goes on. But we're gonna keep fishing, we're gonna keep moving, we're gonna spend a little more time here, but we have a great trip between here and the truck. Another sign that you can look for on these flats that will give away bait fish and areas that you want to slow it down and spend a little time. We had a lot of white, white egrets, wading birds that were walking through the grass and they were being very patient. You could see them looking into the water and picking up bait fish. So that was enough. We had a nice little congregation of the big white birds, the big white egrets that will lead you to fish sometimes. So it's not always, there's some of the signs can be obvious, tailing fish, big mud stirs. There's very subtle signs. I talk a lot about seeing the signs, wading birds, feeding birds. So look for the birds. It's a great place to start making some casts. We've been having a great day today. Beautiful paddle across the flats. We got the wind at our back headed in. Had a great day, wrapped it up with some amazing fish. We actually kept a couple fish today. We have the hook em and cook em portion of our series where we show you guys what we do with the catch, how we enjoy the efforts out here. So we have a new recipe coming up for you. The conversation always turns to what we do with our catch. People ask me about different recipes all the time and uh, love to share that <clears throat> with everybody. So we're gonna kick that idea around between here and the truck, come up with something nice for the hook 'em and cook 'em episode. And as always, it's a pleasure having you guys along for 
and adventure out here on the water. Really enjoy sharing what we love, what we experience. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna keep these shows coming, teaching along the way, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode.